David Paul here, the Niche Marketing Hero, reviewing chapter two of Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. If you do not have your free book yet, please click on the link below. Now, secret two is short and snappy. Um, I really liked it because it helped me um, become a page turner in the book. I was soaking up what he was writing. And for me, I mean, this is going to be a very short review to match the length of the chapter. For me, when I look at people like Jim Edwards, who I've had the privilege of meeting, uh, uh, and his wife, uh, Terry, and uh, having a chat with him online and stuff like that, I still put him on a pedestal because that's the human in me. I read Dan Kennedy, I, I, I read Drayton Bird. Uh, David Ogilvy. These, to me, are the masters of sales copy. And because the human in me puts these people on the pedestal, I sometimes feel and sometimes think, can I do this? Will I be able to? You know, are they, are they just born lucky? Are they just born that way? Is it going to be a long, hard slog for me? Is it going to be difficult for me? Is it going to be a challenge for me? And what Jim does in Secret 2, which is called One Man's Journey with Sales Copy, tells you about his journey and the problems that he faced and how his back was against the wall. Now, I've made a few notes. So here are my take homes. Nobody was born to be a sales copy writer. We all had to learn it. And um, we can practice sales copy all day long, um, whether we are doing uh, uh, webinars, presentations, uh, writing headlines, uh, thinking about social media posts, uh, sales pages, different types of landing page. We can practice it all day long. But the big thing uh, for, for me, from what I learned from Jim's Jim's message here was his his commitment to practice. Now I don't know whether he was sitting down there going, I'm gonna do little 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 and then he turns the page and he does again little 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 and he turns the page little 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 because for me I can't practice like that because that makes it into a chore and makes it boring for me. <coughs> the way that I love practicing is having a product to sell, my own and I get version A and I split test it with version B and then I send traffic to it and I work out which one was better. So work out for you how you want to commit to your practicing. So that's the way I like doing it. I like to know that what I'm doing is getting results or not getting results because if I don't get, if I do a split test and version B is not as good as version A, there's something to be said about that. There's something to learn from that. And what James, Jim is saying here is get out there and practice it. Now, if you're using click funnels, and we should be doing, it's so easy to split a test. So I don't care what product you're selling or offering right now, whether you're trying to get people onto a webinar, uh, whether you're trying to uh, sell a book, sell a training course, a survival knife, um, bottle of wine, <laughs> whatever it is, Split test it, right? And commit yourself to practicing. And, and make sure that you practice that. So you, you send 100 people to it, 50 go to version A, 50 go to version B. Which, which one takes more action, okay? And then make one change. Go on to the next one and make another little piece of change. So what else has he got down here? So he shows his story. He wants to show that he is a regular guy. And if you've ever met Jim, he is. He's so down to earth. He is a regular guy. In fact, Jim and Terry are a lovely regular couple. And what he does with chapter two, he really helps us to get rid of the fear, this daunting aspect of, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do something here. I'm, I'm, uh, this could change my life. And yeah, it can change your life, and it will change your life if you read this book and you understand it. And, and you just start to make some changes. So that's what chapter two is about. It's about his story. It's about him being a regular guy and that he takes the fear out of the situation and you'll love it. So if you don't have 
this book here, please, 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 for your own sake, not mine or anybody else's, for your own sake, get a free copy of the book while it's still around. Right, okay, I'll see you on the next video.